It's August 10th, 2020, 11.46 a.m. Episode 988. This is when I get like those double numbers and numbers next to each other, 9, 8, 7, and 8, that I start to just get this lexical with me. So I have to like really pay attention to what I'm typing. Because Robert Cotino catches me with this all the time when I uh, miss a number of the, the episodes. Um, I just watched the thing of uh, Van Halen from 1983 concert at the US Festival, and I was kind of like zipping through it because it's like two hours, but I was just trying to find one spot where David Lee Roth was actually singing, other than going wow, 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 and kicking and and just shouting. But I couldn't find one spot in there that has nothing to do with anything today. But I could not find one spot in that entire two-hour concert where David Lee Roth actually sang. Uh, the background guys, you know, Michael Anthony was singing, but they really rough, did not sing at all, from what I've seen. Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about that, maybe because it's in my head. Also, uh, one of my new neighbors has a face tattoo. Why, 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 why would landlady rent to somebody with a face tattoo? I'm going out of town this week. i got to double lock my doors. <laughs> Sorry to stereotype and be biased, but face tattoo, come on. Face tattoo. Ugh. Speaking of... Uh, being biased, <laughs> be biased against evangelicals. This cartoon on uh, Jerry Falwell Jr. He did that photo with his pants unzipped and his gut sticking out, and it was really gross. And he's got these. He's with this Peggy Bundy-looking woman with like the bouffant hair, and her pants are unzipped. And he's like, "Ah, oh, take the photo because we thought it was funny. She couldn't zip up her pants. Why is she walking around with her pants unzipped anyway? Would she be wearing stretch pants if she's?" pregnant but then he ends up says too because he thought it was really funny it wasn't he was just gross and the woman's not his wife and uh, he's drinking this black liquid that he later said oh that's black water dude couldn't you come up with a better lie than that you could have said coffee except you could have said it was cold coffee it was like in this clear glass or like plastic cups whatever uh it wasn't black water <laughs> What the fuck? Black water? Nobody believes that shit. Nobody believes you, Jerry Fowler Jr. But anyway, he has taken an indefinite leave from uh, the presidency of uh, Liberty University, which is that, I mean, this guy, they said his last truck, so he's had this long list of super duper stupid offenses and stuff, and he reopened the university despite everybody saying don't do it, even the teachers that were saying don't do it, the students were like, don't do it, and he did it anyway. Um, Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, follow well, well. The bad thing for me is that university is in my state. Let's do some shout outs. Robert Cortino says if Joe Biden could actually hurt God, wouldn't it be in our best interest to have him as our president? I mean, if he's that powerful enough stuff. I think that's a good point, Robert Cortino. It's pretty good. So I asked TJ, how can you defend someone like Donald Trump for just saying something just so bogus and stupid. Somebody's going to hurt God, ban God, ban the Bible. So how can you defend somebody that's stupid? So TJ replies to that. Thank you for replying to that and taking it on, TJ. But he says, well, I would say President Orange Man is alluding to the fact that Democrat-run cities allow for violent maniacs to burn Bibles and churches that the politicians sit there with the thumbs up the rectum. <laughs> Who has burned Bibles with all this stuff in these riots? And some churches have been spray painted along with the other buildings and stuff. I even saw it in New York. But they, they've been just in the line of fire with the other businesses. And uh, yeah, businesses. Bob Mama leaves a comment too. Psychopaths are incapable of empathy and shame. Yeah, TJ replied to that, but TJ, I think you might be the psychopath. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, how about an answer that doesn't have lies? Okay, I appreciate you trying though. Goodbye, everybody. Talk to you later today. Bye.